I'm Dr. Ali Verma and today we'll study about giving sarcoma. That kind of why. When I think about giving sarcoma, the one thing I remember is that this is a malignant tumor that arises from the diaphysis of the bone. And it comes under the classification of tumor group as small down cell tumors which have small down cells with increased nuclear and cytoplasmic ratio. Clinically, it presents in the age group less than 20 years and the patient complains of bone pain along with the mass. But sometimes you can also get symptoms of fever and the peripheral blood showing increased WBCs suggesting an infectious process like osteomyelitis. The next thing that you could do is take an x-ray where you could find in around 50% of cases you see the laminate pattern of periosteal reaction called as the onion skin appearance. Grossly, the tumor is tan grey to white which could be soft, cystic and friable. In the microscopy, you will find sheets of uniform small round cells with scanty cytoplasm with alternating small and dark cells. The cytoplasm at some areas also appear clear due to presence of glycogen within them. The special stain that you would use to confirm the presence of glycogen is periodic acid skiff, commonly called as the past stain. Sometimes, you can also see rosettes as pointed out by the blue arrows. Within this tumor, whenever there is a neuroectodermal differentiation, which then you label the tumor as PNET called as primitive neuroectodermal tumors. I would like to mention here that a rosette is a group of tumor cells, most often non-epithelial, that surround the formal lumen and in this case contains a neuropil-like substance called as homorites rosettes. I'll talk more about rosettes and their significance in the upcoming tutorials. Since it comes under the large basket of small round cell tumors, you would definitely like to differentiate from other differentials of round cell tumors like neuroblastoma, leukemia, homorophasic synovial sarcoma. For that, you will require fish for cytogenetics, where in 95% of cases you get translocation between chromosome 11 and 22. The other translocation is between chromosome 21 and 22, characterized by gene EWS and ERG. The IFC markers that are commonly used for diagnosis are CD99 and FLE1, out of which FLE1 is considered as more specific. And of course, for demonstration of glycogen, you can use the past tape. Before I went, I also like to mention about a possible question that could be asked. And that is, what is a Askin tumor? It's a name given to Ewing's or peanut tumor that arises in the chest wall. To summarize, Ewing's sarcoma is a diaphysial lesion. It's a small round cell tumor. There is translocation between 11 and 22, seen in age group less than 20 years, radiology shows on in skin appearance, microscopy shows small round alternating dark and pale cells, the glycogen is present in cytoplasm which you can confirm by past stain, the IHC is positive for CD99 and FLE1. That's it for now. Do like the video, comment and yes don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.